Welcome back to the channel. In today's session, we're going to cover segments. In our last session, we talked about linear and how linear and segment is similar except for the fact that segment allows you to take off individual lines uh, in that are not contiguous, meaning uh, linear measurements that are not connected to each other. A perfect example of using a segment tool would be like a plumbing trench or a plumbing takeoff. Uh, the uh, plan we're looking at here shows us a plumbing trench and we see different segments or lines. And the reason we'd want to do this over using a linear is because the lines stop and start a lot uh, with the Y connections and connections to the cleanouts. So really a linear uh, or a segment tool is a better way of taking this off. And I'm going to show you how to do that right now. All right, we've got a scale drawing. Uh, this is a plumbing drawing of an actual job that I'd worked on. Uh, first, we're going to use the segment tool and show you just simple segment takeoff and how that works. And then I'm going to show you a segment tool in a template and show you how building that even further can get you exactly where you probably want to be on plans with. So at first, let's just basics, starting a segment. You're going to go in, up and you're going to click on the segment icon, not the drop down. And it's going to bring up dialog box up. And so we're wanting to take off the four inch sanitary sewer pipe. So we're going to type in four inch sanitary sewer. And we can change the color if we want. We're going to, we're going to use an orange for this one. And rest, we just take the defaults and click OK. And now we're into our segment takeoff. We'll see that the digitizer record button is red, means that we're going. And we see the mouse icon is now telling us to click the first point. So uh, segments is always about clicking first and second point. First point, first click starts it, and second click stops it. But I'm still in segment. So this works really good because if I was in linear at this point, the line would still be trying to draw and I'm trying to get back over into this area and I wouldn't be able to do it without stopping the linear uh, takeoff and then having to restart it. So this is where segment really shines. So I can, I'm never really having to restart. Each line has its own segment. So I'm clicking. clicking, clicking, and when I'm ready to stop, then I either press escape or the digitize record. And we've got a segment takeoff. I've got, looking over the side there, approximately 169 lineal feet. At any point I want to restart, I can just click on the line, or I can go over here to my takeoff summary and click on the green light, which will uh, turn it to red or I can go over to the uh, pages uh, navigation and do the same thing. There's always multiple ways that you can restart uh, an existing segment or start a new segment in Plan Swift. So um, I always like just clicking on the line and going up and clicking on new section. I know I'm restarting that section. I don't have to go out to the left or right. So I click on new section, it restarts, it snaps me back in to the last line I drew and I just start drawing the lines. And you can see how, especially for things that have a lot of segments to it, individual starts and stops, the segment tool is a better choice than the linear tool. And I'm going to press stop. All right, let's say for example that this line here that we're looking at, this vertical line, was a branch and it was a different size. Um, I would not have to, I could create a new uh, takeoff item for that and call it just like I did before. Or even easier, I'll show you a shortcut. I'm going to go over to the takeoff summary and I'm going to just click on that to highlight it. I'm going to right click and go duplicate. And it brings up a dialog box so I can go ahead and change parameters. I'm just going to change it to six inches. 
I'm going to change it to a different color and click OK and it didn't start the takeoff it just gave me a ta new takeoff item based on an existing takeoff item now I can start it and I've got my new segment and stop so I don't like the color it doesn't show up very well I can go over here to any of them and I can change the color that simple If for some reason the lines uh, are not showing up well enough for your takeoff or do a copy and paste on, you can go and you can click the properties on any takeoff, including segments, and go to properties and go to advanced. And scroll down there until you get into the takeoff data area. And you'll see where it says um, line width, line side. So I can say line width. It's trying to make it the width if width was uh, set up in here for some other kind of takeoff, it would take off that. Now I can just go in there and I'm just messing with the line width. So I'll just go in there and highlight that. And I'm going to, it's in feet, so I'm going to say uh, one foot. And I'm going to change it from line side from left, pull down to center. Now zoom back out. Now I have a nice thicker line that, uh, that I can see on my copy uh, if I'm pasting into a document or just as I'm zooming out, I can see it better. So at any point, if you want to change the way a line looks, and that works for linear or segment, you can change the width of the line displayed. It does nothing to the quantity. It doesn't change the quantities. It simply shows uh, changes the display and if I want to do that here again just show you one more time properties advanced now if I had duplicated this after I had done the first one it would take on the same properties it would still it would also be uh, show one foot wide so go over here type in one change it to center and now this also shows a little better especially when I'm zoomed out that's pretty much it for basic uh, segment takeoff like I said uh, it works it records just like uh, linear does as far as adding up footages uh, it's just how you taking it off if you got a bunch of straight lines so you're stopping and starting that are not connected or going to go into multiple directions basically the segments a better tool now let's talk about the the options under pull down. Uh, some of the options are similar to linear. The joist segment, uh, segment cubic yards, and wall area are similar to what we saw in linear. I think linear was linear segment, linear cubic yards, and wall area. Same type of dialog box, same choices. If you if you start one of those, uh, same kind of choices appear. It's going to ask you questions to de determine your particular kind of takeoff you're doing. Um, wall height, number of sides, wall width. Uh, if you want to learn more about those particular tools, uh, go back to our linear takeoff session or uh, tutorial, and it virtually works the same way. Uh, two we're not going to get into today under segment is beam tool and hip valley tool. Uh, they're more for people that do roofing, uh, steel constructions, where they're uh, having to uh, choose uh, pitch. And you've got actually pitch one and pitch two. Um, and plies, uh, there again, I'm not a roofing contractor. Uh, this has some valuable uh, tools for people that do. Uh, we're not going to get into that today. And same with... Um, Beam tool. Beam tool is going to ask you again for pitch and plies, and uh, bearings and and uh, length calculations. That um, it's probably uh, if we showed you that, it'd probably be uh, would be its own video because that takes some explaining. It's probably really a more advanced feature, so we're not going to explain that today. So that pretty much covers 
a basic segment takeoff. It's a very straightforward tool. Uh, segment is, in a lot of cases, a better option than the linear takeoff if you've got disconnected lines or, or lines that branch in multiple directions and can be used to build all kinds of uh, uh, templates and assemblies uh, that uh, can take your plan swift or take your takeoff to the next level. Uh, I like using the segment tool for my trenching. Uh, my well, my trenching assembly is based on uh, a segment takeoff. So uh, let's show you what that looks like. Now in my case, I've got a uh, template that I've built for determining uh, concrete removal for a plumbing trench. And where I'll be picking the type of saw cutting I would be doing, the width of the trench, the target per cubic foot is how I price uh, uh, concrete removal. My crew rate, should I want to do a uh, duration-based estimate, in other words, crew rate times so many hours. My slab thickness, where I can pick my slab. My cross cuts, how often am I cross cutting? Every two feet, every four feet, every six feet, if I'm applying any markup. And if I was using a crew rate, I could establish crew hours. I've got check boxes here for no overcuts and hand removal, and if I want to round up the dumpsters. And so this was created from a basic segment tool or takeoff that I expanded and put it into uh, at first a template and then built it into an assembly. So I'm going to click OK. And now when I do, you see how it's going to look different here. It's actually already building the length or the width of the line. In this case, it's more than just how it looks. It's actually calculating that width for slab removal. And you'll see that the lines look a little disjointed, but that's just the way plants withdraws them. It means nothing. It's just how it displays it. So come down here and I'll stop. So now that we've done this, how does that differ from just a segment takeoff that uh, I did previously? I mean, isn't it just going to show me lineal footage of, of what I measured? Actually not. It's actually going to show something different. So let's go to our Estimating tab. And we'll see that uh, this trench that I've uh, estimated has told me the lineal footage but it's given it to me in square feet because I had parameters that I entered on the width of the trench. So I programmed this particular tool, or this template, to give me square footage. I took that template and built it into assembly so it would do other things like give me the amount of saw cutting I've got to do. It tells me that I'm going to use a particular kind of saw. I have got a two foot by two foot cut, four inches deep. I'm double cutting it, which determines how much lineal footage I'm sawing. And it also, as part of this assembly, it calculated how many dumpsters I would need for the removal. So I took a simple segment takeoff, turned it into a template, and think of a template as just something that you reuse. You create it, you might put a price to it, you save it, and you can reuse it from then on. I took that template and made it into assembly that drives other uh, quantities and other materials, labor, equipment items. Uh, just to summarize, um, segment is going to be the tool you use for lines that are disconnected or go in the multiple directions. Uh, and in that case, that's a better tool than linear. Uh, it's a very powerful tool. A lot of my templates and assemblies I've built use a segment. So um, get used to using it, and I'm sure you can easily build, it, build this into your own templates and assemblies and make plans with really a really powerful uh, everyday uh, tool for your estimating uh, routine. See you next time.